What's up, babies? <laughs> How y'all doing today? Yeah, yeah, y'all mad I ain't come out and give y'all no snacks yesterday at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. How y'all doing? Uh, look like somebody been in the, in the house. Y'all got plenty of food. We're gonna get you some water and some snacks. Yep, we we'll get you some snacks. How y'all babies doing? Alright, let's get y'all some snacks right here. Nope, you said not today. Alright. There y'all go. And we got to put down some straw today. Definitely. Because it's getting too uh too <laughs> too covered in there. If you can't tell, they just completely covered this whole area where they could stand up and get in the bucket for the water. Uh, so somebody asked me to about giving them a pond to play in inside of here like a swimming pool or something i think about doing that but i don't want to do it in this area i want to do it in an area off of it so because if you can't tell you see how the water makes it real messy in there that's why i put the bedding down so they wouldn't constantly be in muddy areas but uh they still end up in muddy areas ducks like mud all right let's check the eggs oh uh, what do we have today how many are we guessing there's none over here. All right, then look. One. Two. And the twin. <laughs> That's a twin again, I guarantee it. Guaranteed. So another three eggs. These ducks are doing good. Every day I'm getting three eggs. I like that. My ducks are being productive. Hey, somebody said I was having a, an egg extraordinary day. Egg extraordinary day. That's right. That's what you get from productive ducks. Extraordinary days. Three eggs a day. That feels like a win. And we're about to get out here on this walk. So let's do it. Oh yeah. Good morning, y'all. Yeah. Good morning, Shaw. Hey. Today's a good morning. <clears throat> I didn't do much yesterday. Not at all. And I'm gonna tell y'all, I came out here yesterday and I was feeling great. I said how I had the little cold sweat. Hey, that junk didn't go away that quick. Whoa. I feel like I'm going to get a COVID test today. I don't feel like I have COVID. But what I'm saying is, whatever happened yesterday and the day before, it didn't feel right. Now, I didn't go out in public none yesterday, and I don't plan on going out in public none today. I feel kind of odd because I feel like, <laughs> I want y'all listening during today. <laughs> now, I don't feel sick at all, but I'm not used to being under the weather. And especially when the weather is nice. Like, normally my mood can go with the weather, but my, I don't know what a cold is because that's not something that I feel like you can control. Like, I feel great. I feel like I can still run. I feel like I can still do everything. But my body knows it's not 100%. And it feels 100% right now, but obviously I sound stuffy right now. That means my machine is not breathing its best. <laughs> but I do know one thing exercise is always a good uh, medicine for not feeling well hey I'm telling you when you sick sweat that junk out yeah 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 put your body to work uh oh yeah I got company yep we'll take our time with that yeah I don't know if they saw me, but I see them. 
Hey, so, like I said, I feel pretty good today, though. It feel good outside. It is nice and crisp. Somebody said that the other day and one day. I read a couple. I read a couple comments this morning before I came out. I try not to do stuff like that because a lot of times it affects my thoughts. Anything fresh from the morning always makes it the freshest thought in my head. And I'll be trying not to come out here. Only thing that I read before I come out here intentionally is my finances and the Bible. That's it. Those are the only thoughts that I want to, to mess with my, cause I feel like in the morning, what I'm saying is everything is the purest, purest, if I said that right. I'm saying everything from the dew on the leaves to, I don't know, the, the air that you smell, it smells like the morning. It should be the freshest. It's a new beginning. Oh uh, yeah. Did she hear me coming? <laughs> she probably heard me coming. That's why I had to stop. How you doing today? Hey, 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 hey. Calm down, calm down. All right, I'm getting gone. Yeah, that's what made her stop. She heard me. She heard me. I don't know if he did. And I saw her. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I said. I got company. Yeah, she had been looking for me that whole time. Yep, that's a good dog. Maybe wanted a little too much action, but what I'm saying is that's an alert dog right there because that dog was alert. She saw me a long time ago. And she made him wait there until she saw what I was coming from. <laughs> they stood there a long time. She wanted some. Well, but she ain't know what she was going to get. Had she got a piece. Whew. She was about to find out. It's not a feast. <laughs> More than you can bite off. Ooh. She thought I looked like a smorgasbord. What I'm saying is, <laughs> this was your last supper, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, so I decided what I'm going to do with my client. Hey, uh, I told you, I, I ain't one to complain about situations. I fix it. Hey, he gone, blocked him yesterday. If you're listening, buddy, this ain't the energy I want to start off my new year with. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to me and that dog did. Part of ways. It just wasn't the right energy. And that had to be understandable. I'm serious, y'all. My energy mean that much to me. I don't, money don't mean nothing to me. That's what I'm trying to tell people. Money is just something that's needed to give to, from day to day. I'm trying to formulate a plan in my mind, but that junk is taken care of. So no one person. Look, I admit, I said it take a whole lot of people to get me where I'm at. But I ain't about to give any one person everything to let them tear me down. Look, what I'm saying is... If you got the wrong kind of energy when you come around me, guarantee you won't stay around me very long. I try, brother. What I'm saying is I am not a doctor. I am not a therapist. What I'm saying is I give my best advice. And when I meet people who fail to put in any work and just sit around and complain, I'm starting to realize it's either a type of person or a time in a type of person's life. But what I'm saying is, I've never experienced a time in my life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. All right, maybe, maybe, maybe I just told a little bit of a story there. Because I done lost control on that one. <laughs> hey, what I'm saying is, my whole life I've always felt like I've tried to find a better way. My whole life. I'm saying when I see a problem, look, I'm saying I'm the type of person who feel like life could always be better. Oh yeah, this is gonna be bad. Because what I'm saying is, I'm always looking for ways for life to be better. I cannot sit, sit in a content spot. 
if something is capable of being improved, why wouldn't we? But what I'm saying is too many people walk around with this, I just want, and you ain't even got no reason why. You ain't got no reason for the, for the reason. I'm saying, I say work your life in reverse. What do you think happiness look like? When you say what you will, what you want and what makes you happy, what does it look like? And then sit back and think about what kind of work it takes to get there. I'm saying anybody who want a four year degree, you know what? They got to look at it as man, it's four years. That takes patience. And then what I'm saying is from the looks of it, it takes finances. Then you got to take the time and learn. Oh my goodness. And people just want stuff like this is a popcorn society. Don't nobody want to work for nothing. And that's, I think, one of the biggest downfalls of social media. People so busy looking at people at the top, they ain't doing no work to stand next to them. What I'm saying is if you wanted to stand next to me, you'd have to be working by walking now, wouldn't you? <laughs> what I'm saying is you can't sit around and do nothing and expect everything to come to you. Heck, I'm doing everything I can and I only get what's coming towards me or what I'm coming towards, whatever you want to look at it. I feel like I'm grounded, but I'm the thing that's moving more than anything there is. I feel like you should always be making moves. That's why I don't feel good when you don't feel well. You know what I mean? That means it's like, I just saw something fly across right there. Oh, buddy. It's a bird. <laughs> nope, it was a plane. Nope. It was a, a Yeti. <laughs> no, Bigfoot. <laughs> hey, let me stop before you snatch me up. My last video never to be seen. You know what I mean? Out here walking the creek looking like a fiend. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what I see? Man, you had 4K, just put it up on the big screen. <laughs> you won't believe it. The moment that he walked by, I had the camera pointed at the ground. Oh my goodness. Well, did he at least make a sound? No. Goodness. Yes, you'll just be another one of those who say you saw him and oh, nobody. Oh, another kind of more company. Company is company. Oh. Well, different it is. Ooh. Good morning, how y'all doing today? How are you? Doing pretty good. Good. Oh, you got one on your back too? Uh, that's just in case. I guess oh. <laughs> hey, I used to do it like that all the time. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Yep. We got a lot of company out here today. A whole lot. That's good. That's what I'm saying. I'd be telling people to get out and get active. I feel like, hey, it must be working. Last year this time, we ain't never seen nobody out here. Now, we starting to see more people. How I feel. Hey. That's good for the park. I don't know. I feel like I can't tell. And I guess I really don't, it don't bother me. I am kind of like a selfish person, maybe. I do things because I know how they're gonna benefit me in the future, period. I don't care what that is. I'm saying everything that I do, I try and look into the future and feel like, well, how it's gonna benefit me. And that's selfish, it is but it's very thoughtful as well. <laughs> because what I'm saying is, if you don't plan things out for your future, somebody else will be planning them out for you. And let me tell you how that goes a lot of times. 
you know how you walk in somewhere and you want something and then you got to talk to the person who's selling it and then they be like yeah i get what you say you want but let's walk over here because this is more your budget what i'm saying is that is the point where it comes the time where somebody is telling you what you can have Now, I get it. It's always going to be a point like that. No? no, I don't believe that really. Some things just ain't necessary. What I'm saying is as long as I can get a car, that's all I care about. It ain't got to be an Aston Martin. I don't know why I chose that name. It just flowed today. Maybe Aston Martin is about to come my way. Hey, drop me one off in my driveway. We cool. Don't ask me to pay no taxes on that boy. You fool. <laughs> no. I'd sell that boy as soon as I get it. You can take some tax off of that. I'm not gonna keep that car. I got so, look, what I'm saying is, flossing means nothing. Where does this come from? Yesterday, while I was laid up sick, I watched some house hunters with my chick. <laughs> okay, my bad, I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, yep, she's been taking good care of me, y'all. I got a Hall's cough drop in my mouth right now because of her. She brought me some ginger tea this morning. Uh, she's making me eat bread toast. It's like, what? No. <laughs> I'm like, fix me something good to eat. She's saying, you're going to have some bread. And it's made out of wheat. I'm like, can I at least get some butter? She said, no. Did I stutter? <laughs> okay, it don't really go that way. But what I'm saying is, I just had some dry toast today. And some ginger tea. Thank you. <laughs> All right, anyway, yep, uh, what was I even talking about? I mean, got way off subject. Anyway, I'm having a good day today. Oh, I was talking about house hunters now, wasn't I? Yeah, I'm looking at people, and it's kind of like when the camera come on, you can see who starts acting. Oh, my goodness. And I'm saying, it looked like it'd be... Cracks in the foundation when they get started. More company. We have a jog. How you doing today? All right. So. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it's like camera come on. People get the acting for the camera. Some people acting like they got to have the biggest and grandest. It's like, clearly by looking at your budget and your area, Oh, come here again. How you doing today? Good. Get out your way. You're fine. <laughs> oh, you learning the power walk out here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a good one. You too. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Get your kids out, let them walk in areas like this, huh? You saw how young that man was walking over this. This is hard walking for him. Hey, but what I'm saying is, let him do it for a few years. He'll be out here running. <laughs> and give him a few days, heck. He'll be out here running. I figure when you start them young at anything, they'll pick it up quick. Oh, yeah. But I don't feel you force any kid to do anything. You just expose them to everything. Expose them and see what they fall in love with. Hey, and then when they fall in love with something, try and feed it and let it grow how they want it to grow. Now, I'm saying if you see your kids being lazy now, but if they can, if you can find something that your kids want to stick with, hey, but just remember, anything in excess can be bad. And I think it's important to let a kid be a kid. Give him an opportunity because you don't get a kid. Get, look, you get to be an adult much longer than you get to be a kid. So I don't feel like it's any rush for a kid to become an adult. But they do need to be taught that they can't be a kid all their life. <laughs> but that has to that date has to be told to them like, hey, this is when it's gonna be expected. And I feel like I give my kids kind of like markers. And especially when they show me they're capable of something, I marker that off. And I let them know I marker it off. You don't get a second try on that one. You already proved it to me. It's kind of like 
in the military. Once you perform the task, and we all wanted to perform the task so we can get to the next skill level. This is what's crazy. In the military, everybody want to get to that next skill level, that next rank. But everybody don't want to be responsible for that. And that's what I mean. You complete a task, you get it marked off. Now you would think it's been documented that you know what you're doing. And so now if something goes wrong, you could be held liable. Hey, imagine if everybody just did that with their own life. With their own life. It wouldn't be no need for nobody to correct nobody else. It's like, that's not mine. I'm not going to steal it. Hey, not saying I'm perfect, y'all. What I'm saying is, when I was a teenager, I had a problem with sticky fingers. And what I'm saying is, I had a problem with ego. Not sticky fingers. I had no reason to steal. None whatsoever. I had money. And I did it because I felt like I could. And I felt like I wasn't going to get caught. And I didn't. But I'm going to tell you something. I feel like that junk haunt me every single day. It do. Every time I lose something now as an adult that I didn't work hard for, I look back and I chalk it up on all the stuff that I did that I didn't get caught for when I was a kid. Yep. That's what your conscience do to you if you got one. And it's a good thing. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I started doing that junk, I had a conscience. And then I, I lost my conscience somewhere along the way. And then what happened? One of my friends got caught while I was there. And I was like, oh my goodness. This is the worst feeling ever. And I had to sit there and watch what he went through. And in that moment, I learned. I don't want to go through that. I don't. And I'm going to be honest, that was probably one of the hardest things ever for me to break in my life. But I'm going to be honest, I feel like that was the first thing I had to break in my life. The first hard habit, because what I'm saying is, in my opinion, that had come, started to come so easy. I mean, I was a, I felt like I was a, me and my friends were being foolish because we hadn't gotten caught. And what I'm saying is, I stand here talking like I'm talking simply because I'm blessed. Because I could have been anybody else or the person who got caught or anything and I wouldn't be standing here talking like I'm talking today. I made stupid decisions along the way myself. What I'm saying is, once I learned or I saw, I try my best not to not to see a mistake that I've made and repeat it intentionally. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I do have, I mean, I got, I got flaws. <laughs> I said, I try my best not to. And when I see something that I don't like, I try my best to correct it. I don't know what that sounds like, but what I'm saying is if you have something in your life that you feel like is really bringing you down, hey, don't talk about it. All, all reminiscing about it does is make you feel worse. I'm saying, all it takes is a little bit of action. A little bit of action. I'm saying you'd be surprised at how much momentum you'll get. Just like a debt snowball if you work towards any situation in your life. I'm starting to notice that. I don't know why I'm starting to notice it now, but what I'm saying is, I, well, I ain't gonna say I'm starting to notice it now. I feel like I'm starting to be able to put it all together now. It requires balancing all areas of your life. And some areas of our life get so, so far out of control that they start affecting other areas of our life. What I'm saying is, your know, finances get, can get so out of control that they start affecting your work life. Like, if you get, uh, shoot, I don't know. If you have bad time management, you can see how that could affect your work life, right? Time management. That is something that needs to be addressed. I'm saying financial management. It don't matter what it is. You pick. Put it in there. But don't let nobody else put their issues on you or tell you what your issues are. Find out what it is. 
put in some work. Let's start making progress. Hey, start removing people from your life who are not benefiting you. Period. I don't care who it is. If they're dragging you down, it's time to start making a change. Hey, some of my people who be listening, I know you be listening to me. And what I'm saying is, hey, I got a brother out there who made some of the best decisions he'd have never made in the last couple weeks. And I'm proud of you, brother. I know they've been hard, but you see how things is changing on the other side. Hey, what I'm saying is, sometimes you got to let some things go. All I'm saying is, when you look, let's look at it like this. You only have so much room in your glass. If you have things that are floating in your glass that you don't want in there, if you move them out the way, you can put more stuff that you want in your glass. And what I'm saying is, who wants stuff floating in their water? In their glass, period. That's the nasty stuff. Get rid of them. Make room for better people in your life. Anything negative, anything that's not helping you get to your goals, get them out your way. I'm telling you, I don't care. It's like, like cancer. Get rid of it. Get it out your body. It will spread. And I'm saying it will spread through your mind if you just let a person who is a nagger sit there and continue to do it in your ear. I'm telling you, remove cancer from your life. Hey, whew. Goodness, it makes me feel like I need to go get more than a COVID test today. I need to go get a cancer test because I don't know where all that came from. But I'm saying anybody who's in your life, I know where it come from. My father had cancer. He didn't deal with it in one spot and it spread throughout his body. And that's what I'm saying. I, I look at people as cancerous. They can be. I'm saying if you don't fix an area in your life that you see is making things worse, I'm saying that's a cancer because it will affect other areas of your life. Hey, make progress in your life, people. Hey, if you're rocking with me, you should know this is your opportunity this morning, your first blessing. I ain't feeling too good, but I'm feeling great. Oh, yeah, this your boy. And I'm out. Yeet! Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Hopefully he ain't aggressive. Come here. Hopefully he ain't aggressive. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. If he aggressive and come running, we're going to have a problem. He don't look like he want to, though. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, nope. He acting foolish now. But he running the right direction, so we good. He was sneaking around the ducks. He a pretty big dog. I thought he was a fox or a wolf or something at first. And the ducks had ran in the doghouse that I built them. Well, me and my buddy built them. But look, now he's sitting over there looking to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Better not be coming after my ducks, right? He was sneaking around the cage. Now he's looking at me, seeing what I'm doing. He wasn't going to bother y'all. They was worried. Wasn't y'all? They were worried. But he way over there now. They good. Yeah, good? Did that scare ya? Ah, uh, yeah. Alright. Y'all good. He gone.